of a leopard. Oh dear. Let's see. Okay. Uh, leopard um, territorial call. Let's see. Maybe if I call, James might think that the leopard's close by. Good? Not good? I wonder, James. <laughs> Okay, well, it's, it's time for Jamie to give her leopard call. See you all later. Uh, the question is, am I going to try and do the territorial call or am I going to try and do the sound of leopards mating? Because both of them I'm equally bad at. I don't know. I'll try, should I try both? What, what the... Why not? Okay, so... Here's my leopard territorial call. <clears throat> right, I always take one. I feel like the guys have it slightly easier than the girls do when it comes to imitating leopard calls. Craig, could I request your contribution or not so much? <laughs> Craig goes, no, he's not too sure. Should we try the leopard mating one? It goes something like this. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was all we could give you on International Leopard Day. <coughs> we did try. <laughs> Let's go over to James and uh, for the last few minutes so he can do his call. Bye-bye. Well, my call, uh, well, you can see I'm just doing a little bit of clean-up here. <clears throat> I need to sit down with my call. I'm not very good at the mating call. I'm not sure that I'm very good at the, um, uh, at the territorial call either, but I'm going to give it a go. Then the mating call depends, you know, is it coming from the female or the male? Um, the female starts off going... And then there's a tremendous crescendo as the male bites her on the back of the head and she swings round to grab him and she says... As the credits roll, it is time for me to say goodbye to you on this International Leopards Day. Thank you very much for joining.